Hi everyone, this is Whitney, aka Life Celebrity, and I just wanted to post one final update before tomorrow's big day. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, or might need a refresher about the big event, tomorrow I'm going to be participating in a 24-hour video game marathon to benefit Akron Children's Hospital. This event is made possible by Extra Life and the Children's Miracle Network. I will be playing 24 hours of video games, um, and what you can do to support me is you can tune in at www.twitch.tv slash life salubrity, L-I-F-E-S-A-L-U-B-R-I-T-Y, and it's all one word. And you can watch me live as I play a variety of video games tomorrow. Uh, you can also support me financially. Uh, at my donation page, which I will post downstairs in the description. Um, so feel free to go to my page. It is a secure website through the Children's Miracle Network servers, um, so they make sure that everything is secure, and all of your donations go directly towards Akron Children's Hospital and Children, Children's Miracle Networks. So thank you for the support that I've received so far. I think we are up to $455. <laughs> Which is incredible to me because when I started um, and I set up my little page, I thought, oh, maybe a hundred dollars, you know, I'll be lucky if I get that. And then I woke up the next morning and bam, there was a hundred dollars. So I had to raise it again to two hundred and then the very next day, two hundred dollars. Um, so we recently hit my goal of four hundred dollars. So I raised it again because there's always a need at any children's hospital. Um, especially Akron Children's. They do really incredible work, and I'll talk about that here in a little bit. Um, tomorrow, for the marathon event, um, you have a variety of ways that you can support me. Um, you can donate a dollar for every hour that I play. Uh, you can donate um, for certain items that I collect in games or certain things that I do in games. Um, or you can make a one-time donation, if you like, and just pick your amount. Um, like I said, every little bit helps. Uh, I'm not really sure what games I'm going to be playing yet. I really hemmed and hawed about it because I wanted to create a schedule in case there were certain games people wanted to see, but I know that every game takes a different amount of time, and I didn't want to restrict myself um, if one game took, you know, a half an hour longer than was on the schedule, and I didn't want to restrict you guys by cutting off a game like, okay, we got to get to the schedule. Um, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. Uh, I am open to requests, so if there's anything you want to see me play, please feel free to let me know. Uh, the cool thing about my Twitch TV channel is that when you log in, you can actually join a chat room with anybody that's in there, and I will be viewing that chat room so I can communicate with you as I am playing, which is really cool. So if you want to send me a shout-out, um, or if you want to join the chat, or if you want to, I don't know, tease me. <laughs> I'm sure my friends and family will be around um, to really kind of spice it up. So please feel free to join us. Um, I know for sure that I'm going to be playing Lunar, Silver Star Story Complete, from the PlayStation 1. Because that is my number one favorite video game of all time. I'm definitely going to get some hours in on that. I don't know if I will finish it during the marathon. Um because I want to get some other games in there, but if not, maybe I can keep playing through Sunday and hopefully finish it. Uh, but I can also record some extra videos for those that want to see the completion of the game. I've also had a request to play Journey, uh, which is the game where they plop you in the middle of a desert and they point you straight ahead and they say, there is a giant beam of light, go to it. So it's uh, definitely a very beautiful game. They focus very much on making it more of a work of art than a game. So I, I think everybody's going to really enjoy it. And it only takes about an hour, maybe two hours. Um, so I can finish it and still have time for other games. Um, and I'm thinking about some of the other games as well on some of the networks. Like I have Okabu, I have From Dust. Um, what else do I have? Uh, Flower. So some of those smaller games that can be a nice break from the traditional... 20 hour RPG um, I might throw in there but like I said I'm open to requests um, pretty much anything if, if it benefits Children's Hospital I will do it uh, a lot of extra lifers have 
done a lot of videos about touring their hospitals and getting to know their hospitals and how it's been a life-changing experience for them. Um, I didn't really do that because uh, I've had a lot of experience at Akron Children's Hospital. I did an internship there for my undergraduate degree uh, in the government relations department, and then I also went back as a doggy brigade volunteer with my dog, Roxy, um, and we had some wonderful experiences, and when I was no longer able to do doggy brigade, I have gone in there as a clerical slash whatever the need is volunteer. Um, I started in 2009 as a government relations intern and uh, I worked with a very special lady who did a lot of great work for kids there. Um, she told me this story, well actually no, I heard this during her retirement party. Um, there was a patient that wanted to go to Washington to lobby for other kids with her condition and she was in a wheelchair and she and her mother were concerned that they would have troubles with transportation um, because when they got there they knew that unfortunately it was really tough to get a ride um, with certain organizations I'll put it that way um, and they'd had trouble because she was in the wheelchair people would pass her by and my boss said no no don't worry about that I'll take care of everything <laughs> And uh, she goes out into the street and she waves down a taxi and uh, they pull over and she starts to load her bags into it and then she goes back and gets the wheelchair loads it into the back before the guy can say anything. And the driver, uh, 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 and my boss of course says, well, it's not a problem, isn't it? I already loaded everything up. Let's go. <laughs> it's just the kind of person she was. You know, nothing, nothing stopped her from helping kids. And doing what they needed and she really made a lasting impact and to me it was amazing because I thought that hospitals were just about giving you medications performing treatments on you making you uncomfortable and sending you home but I learned through my experience there that they do so much more and Akron Children's does so much more in particular um, I didn't I, I thought it was amazing that they would go to Washington to advocate for kids, to tell them what kids need with certain conditions, or just to be a voice for kids, um, and not just to send a bunch of stuffy adults in suits. I mean, they actually take the kids with them and let them speak for themselves, which is amazing to me. Um, and then I, I, after my internship was completed, um, I came back later as a doggy brigade volunteer with my dog, Roxy. Uh, she was a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and we had a phenomenal time. Um, she and I did the Holiday Tree Festival, which is a huge fundraiser that they do, and um, we had a lot, of, we had a great time. I mean, it was like two hours of pure bliss, and uh, the one most notable event um, that I remember is my very first or second visit. It was probably my second visit because I had a mentor with me to show me around the hospital and he took me down to the emergency department and I walked in and we went to the nurse's station to check in because you always let the staff know that you're there and this doctor comes out from behind the nurse's station and he looks down at her face and he says oh I love dogs is it okay if I pet her which of course I told him you know Oh, it's a doctor. You know, I was expecting him to be all high and mighty. And he gets down on his hands and knees. And he gets all in her face and he rubs her ears. And he just, oh, I, it gets me all worked up just to think about it. And um, he looks up at me and he says, thank you. Thank you for volunteering and thank you for sharing your best friend with us and letting her help kids. Oh, and by the way, sorry, <laughs> by the way, since you're here, could you see there's like 10 kids down this hallway? I mean, it was, I was shocked, you know, um, to watch this doctor get down and, and, uh, I love on the love of my life like that and to welcome her to that hospital. And that's, and the funny thing is, it's not just the docs, it's the nurses it's the staff, it's the other volunteers, um, everyone at that hospital. I've had nothing but good experiences with them. So that's why I believe in this cause. Um, not just because I've seen the work that they do with kids, but 
you know, I see how they interact with each other, how they interact with the volunteers. And, um, <laughs> I'm getting all emotional. <laughs> I really love Akron Children's Hospital. Um, I've had nothing but good experiences there. I've seen the work that they do for kids. Um, they hold carnivals for kids, um, full access carnivals for kids with disabilities. They hold, um, uh, special appreciation events, um, for their staff and volunteers. They hold uh, reading fairs and they do special reading events where the staff and employees go out to different schools to uh, read with kids and build those interactions. And uh, they have all different kinds of doctors and services, um, all different kinds of therapies. They have a cookie cart that goes around and makes homemade cookies. They have uh, a glamour girl cart I just saw go out today um, just to help give kids some kind of sense of home you know or normalcy until they can get home safely which is incredible I've taken my dog to visit patients I've done tons of research on different programs that affected kids I have emptied a toy bin I have emptied a book cabinet and moved it and refilled the book cabinet. I have entered paperwork. I, I mean, they, there's nothing they couldn't ask me to do. And I would happily do it because I know the impact that they have. And um, I'll talk a lot more. I don't want to make this video too long. But I'll talk a lot more tomorrow as I do my marathon about the different experiences that I've had there. I'll share... Um, all of my different stories that I can think of, and I'm open to questions. So please, please join me and spread the word to everybody that you know um, about Extra Life, about Akron Children's Hospital, and about this event. <laughs> um, you know, if you want to game yourself or if you want to support me, anything and everything matters. So thank you again. Um, for those that have supported me, for those that are going to support me, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 8 a.m.